harness is basically all stock all i did was take the uh terminals out of the factory uh connector for the computer and put them in that style connector for that computer but the harness itself is uh pretty much all stock with a few exceptions so i just did the mass airflow got that all heat shrinked on there my air intake here this is made out of a four inch uh silicone hose and that fits over your stock throttle body pretty nice and it fits over the air filter nice and here is the stock lt1 ls1 mass airflow sensor and if you can tell uh it's a little small it's actually really small uh, that's actually pretty restrictive even for a stock throttle body this is their most restrictive part and uh this car being a 93 it never even had a mass air from the factory and i don't really want to go in adding a restriction so uh what i ended up getting is a chrome piece here this is a four inch just like everything else on here and then you i'm running this newer mass air for a uh I actually went to the junkyard, pulled this out of a Chevy Cobalt. But I had a 2010 Camaro and it's the same exact sensor. And I got the connector for it. It also has, along with the mass air, it also has the intake air temperature sensor built into it. So I got to cut off the, uh, the factory wire over here and uh, put this in. And I'll have a nice big four inch mass airflow. Pretty easy to do. Like I said, I cut off this uh, factory plug if you look you got looks like a pink black with a white stripe and a yellow and this newer one is the exact same colors these first three are your mass air for the yellow black with a white stripe pink uh, they did the exact same thing so just hook up the same colors and these two over here is for your intake air temperature and we'll hook that up next oh uh, the other thing i had to do i'm running a uh, long tube headers on this and your factory manifold uh, it's got the O2 sensors like real close to the motor. And if you have long tube headers, they're quite a bit further away. So I had to extend my oxygen sensors. I just cut them in half and added some wire in the middle. So I got to throw in these uh, extended oxygen sensors. I did the mass air flare for my four inch mass air. And then here's the other main thing. Uh, this is the connector that used to go to my OptiSpark. And I modified it to plug into my Vortec distributor. That just goes right here on the side of the motor. Plug that in, and then I'll feed that back. Plug it into the distributor. All right, the car's all wired up. I got all the harnesses and all the wires all zip tied away from the headers and everything. So it's pretty much good to go. But let's see what happens now. Well, that wasn't what I was expecting. I heard the fuel pump come on. I smell fuel. So I think my injectors are firing. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a wire here on my cool pack. I got my little spark tester here. I have to connect it to ground somewhere. Probably just right here. And then we will check and see if we have any spark. As you can see, the car's got spark. I think everything is fine as far as the electronics. I think maybe what happened is when I timed my distributor, plug number one, you gotta have on the compression stroke. Then you put distributor number one. And uh, I'm guessing maybe uh, I got that backwards. My distributor is off 180 degrees. So I just have to pull it up and swap it. Should be pretty easy. She's alive. So I got it on that real uh, basic thing just to get it running now that it's running I might have to uh, plug in the laptop and see what it looks like get this thing tinged up a little bit so there she is I'm glad we finally got it running that was my goal for today I just wanted to hear her run uh it's definitely gonna need some tinning I don't really have that HP tinner set up for uh for tinning right now you have to record the data that you're getting and then uh you gotta have the tables and stuff on there and all your information match like the tables in your team, which they don't right now. So I'll have to play around 
on HP tuners before I even really get anywhere with tuning. So uh, I'll show you that a little bit uh, next time. But she runs, and uh, hopefully we have her on the street soon. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.